Hello there and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video guys and in today's video we're going to be running down a list of advantage spots and tactical positionings that you can use on all of the maps but I am obviously running through the maps one by one we're starting off on Aquarium and I'm going to be giving at least three or four positions for each map try and do three or four maps each video but these positions are just going to help you out get a tactical advantage over the enemy team try and get the first kill and if not like try and save you try and position Position you so you're tactically placed by cover whether you be in low health or just trying to get a drop on someone so you can't be killed and try and try and end up winning the game I hope these do give you the advantage to actually win and get ahead of the opposing team so the first one's on aquarium if we get up the big map you can see it's on the right left hand side not right hand side left hand or top if you're looking at the map from the way I'm looking at I see it as like long ways so I'm on the left hand side if that makes sense to you guys but yeah, it's in this little room, pretty recognisable room, it's from the main area, like the main area is just down there, we're on the upper levels. But if you're running through here, I believe this is where you spawn as well, you spawn just outside there, if you're on the CDP spawn, Black Ops spawns on the opposite side. So you just run through here, and a lot of people don't notice this, just jump up and aim down your sights. The amount of people that are coming from this direction and will just continue running around this corner until they get to here, it, it amazes me. Like, you can see how this helps out. As you can see on the left hand side, the shark bait, sh uh, sh the shark bait sign, shine, sign is actually blocking my point of view there. So, if we're on this side, all we have to do is literally a small thrust jump up and bam, we've got them. And on hardcore, which is what I tend to play, a couple of shots and they're dead. And the amount of hang time you get from thrust jumping, that's all you need literally that's all you need so let's move on to the next spot shall we guys all right guys on the next one i just wanted to run for a few tactical positions that may save your life in this middle area of the aquarium map now i know i've come to this area and i've been shot so many times like literally like just from every direction you've got one two three four five areas where people could just poke their head out and take you down so a couple of positions I'd like to go through is especially on this one if you're coming down the stairway you get shot in the back or you're coming up the stairway and see an enemy coming through the door just go prone go prone as you can see that doorway has been shut off they're not going to be able to get their aim of sights on you and the minute they pop like just step a couple of close like steps forward and pop their head out above the stairway line you've got them you've literally got them if you've been shot from behind turn and go prone bam literally it's so useful a couple of other good ones in this place are actually these two side bits as well so if you're one of those people who are playing like domination hard point and like to just camp in a corner or not camp like tactically place yourself in a corner but want to get to the position first if you run here and get here first while the enemies are popping out of their area you can just bam take them out take them out and they won't know you're here either because of this wall and another good tactic is to either use trip mines as well so as you're running towards here just set some trip mines off in that area in that area over there and they're running through and they'll just instantly hit those trip mines and for this actual like section over here if you're running down and you tend to see that people are coming out that area already or even that way run to this middle section and just go prone and then take the situation from there you can see whether those people have been killed if not pop your head out and you can take them this does mean you're being shown from that area but only with the little bit of that door if you stay behind this blockade you're actually blocked from the like lane behind you and then you can turn around pop your head out and take them out there as well so this middle section is quite hectic usually but hopefully with these three four positions you should be able to get a slight advantage over the opposing team as I do say, as I do say. Now this last area for Aquarium is once again for a like, sort of first spawn run where you're trying to get the advantage and take the enemy team out early. So on the map you can see that we were on the completely opposite side of where we were on the first advantage spot. And this is either for the opposing team or the team you're on. So if you're on this side and you're spawning from this way, it's not really going to work too well. But once again, if you're on this side, the, CB, the CBD side, it will work out perfectly. So a lot of people do come around this corner after spawning over there and sit here and just wait for him to come round, come over that rock. And now that is a good advantage, like it's a good spot. 
but not as good as you could have. Like this spot here, so you can instantly take out the doorway. You're blocked from the sort of open wall area until they come round the corner, and they won't see you first. They'll have a look and be seeing those people there first. So here's a good spot as well, but also this one here. Now, the minute they come up from that water, they won't see you until they've already walked past you or walked around the corner to go into the building, meaning you'll practically be a ghost to them. And anyone coming out of there, so they may come down here, they may go a completely opposite way, but a lot of times they come down here as well. You know, they just come out here instantly, the minute they're out, bam, they're already dead, they can't even look at you because you've already seen them come out. Your only disadvantage to this spot is actually the water, but 9 times out of 10 I've not seen anyone come up through this water pool. So, it's, it's not that bad really, like, you've just got to watch your back, and uh, if you're not watching your back in cards, then learn to watch your back. Alright guys, we're now onto the breach map. Now, I find that breach is actually a pretty hard map to find advantage spots per se, like to say, because of the lane tactic, or the lane layout like to say i can't i can't help saying to say like i have to say to say but the lane lay, like the lane layout is like three lanes you've got one lane coming down there you've got this middle lane coming down here and you've got a left hand lane coming down that way and now because of this it is hard to not run down like to in a lane and not have somewhere that you can be shot at as you can see from this example that i'm about to give is if you spawn here and you're running down the middle lane you've got that area there you've got this open area here you go into this doorway and you've got this area here the minute you run around this corner and then you've just got the open area and the other like lane entrance is right there like the only blockade in this situation is this building and then you've got a lane like intersection here and you've got a lane intersection here like it is a very small compact three laned map so what i do suggest that you do for this map is the following so i have to get all the way back here is that if you're spawning like on this side or on the opposite side it does work for both sides i just i prefer this side for an example it's just run out the lane where you can't be seen so i'm literally running at the door here i'm switching to this statue so i can't be seen here and then i, I have the advantage by poking my head out and running to my next defensive position which is the wall running to this area so you're not coming around here you can either stop here or running straight to here so you're constantly in cover as for when it gets out into this open area, there's not really much you can do. There are certain areas you can hide behind, such as here, you've got this area here, and this will give you a slight advantage, but there's still a lot of various points you've got to cover. So I'm aiming down here, yet I've still got behind me to cover. I've still got to the left and behind me once again, and up. Like, there's so many disadvantage spots that you can have. But one sort of sneaky, like, spot slash positioning that I found is if you come through here, and the enemy team have still yet to push out of this building, is just come up and go prone here. Now, as you can see, the only real threat is the left-hand side. If you're coming from this direction, you would assume that your teammates are behind you as well. And this gives you the edge, meaning you can either stay prone or poke your head up to take that door, or any enemies that are on this edge up here as well. Right, now Combine, guys. Combine is literally one of my favourite maps. Like, oh, it's so good. Like, literally, it's like a Nuketown of Black Ops 2, but even though Nuketown's in this, I just haven't played it because I haven't got my DLC code. But yeah, Combine is a hard map. Once again, it is free lane, just like Breach, meaning there is lack of more tactical, no, more advantage spots and more tactical positions to work towards to hopefully give you the edge so if, what i mean is like an advantage spot is somewhere you can get to and hold down for a while guys a tactical position is a position you want to get to to take over the edge and then potentially move forward if you've won the previous gun battles you know what i mean but what we want to do is if uh, most of the time i spawn on this side like i don't know why i i don't know why but yeah pretty much i spawn on this side all the time so i run through here now one tactical position i like to do is get here as fast as i can so having faster recharge rates or the perk that increases your thrusters is really useful meaning you can jump and slide your way there a lot quicker just like this that especially really helps me out and just get behind this wall or get as close to this wall as you can not only will the enemies just try and rush through here 50% of the time like a couple of them will look to the left but uh, some of them try and jump from wall to wall and you're here on the ground meaning they have to aim down and won't be able to get you as fast as you can get them and you that means you've also got this area covered so anyone trying to snide you under there perhaps for domination and then jump up to there and capture the flag you've got them as well just ah literally you can just take them out it's so useful it's unreal 
But another tactical positioning is just over here. Don't have to make any cuts on this one because it is a very small map. And it's actually behind the sign. So if you're in this building, I know on hard point this sign is so useful for me because hard point this building is just carnage when the hard point gets to it. So this allows you to take out this doorway and these two doorways as well, blocking up this area. So if, you're, if you've got the hard point, they're going to be flooding in from every direction. Most of the time it's from this doorway and the stairs and then you've got this area covered if you need to. But I do find the stairs and this doorway are pretty like high traffic for players and at least I've got one covered and I'm protected from one other as well. So if you get a teammate right here, they've got this doorway and that doorway and then you can get another teammate here who's got that doorway and you've got that one. They've got this one, they've got that one, You, these two can share this doorway. It's not that hard, it's a free man setup. Like, it's so, so useful. Oh. Alright guys, now I'm going to finish up this map, or this map, this video, by actually just showing you a few tactical positions you can try and brush from starting the game. So this is right off of spawn, and then try and take out the enemies who are also rushing their spawn. So if you're on spawning this side, there's a couple that you can go to, and one of them is actually right here. So if you rush to this area, and just crouch, as long as you've got someone or you're protecting behind you, which, by the way, I find isn't too hard. Most of the time when people run along there, they're running the whole way. And I personally don't turn to see if anyone's here. A lot of people may, but if you do turn, it can screw up your wall run and you can fall off. So, yeah, they may get the kill, but they will not survive. But on this tactical position, this is really good because you can poke your head out from here. Take this doorway. Take anyone that's sort of camping in that corner and anyone that's coming under here. All while being protected by people that are up onto that ledge and coming around this corner. Which I know is a high traffic area, especially that ledge in the game. In the beta, everyone went that way. Or through the room, which you've still got covered. Like, it's so useful. Like, another couple of positions actually involved a truck. And the way it's angled in particular, as you can see, it's sort of not facing 180 degrees. It's literally angled that way. And because of this, this means we can either go in this area, once again being protected by the ledge and being able to take on door, the door, or people coming out of the door and coming around the corner, but then this gives you a high rate area to here as well. So, as I was saying earlier, anyone that's down there, you could potentially pick off if they're trying to camp that wall and take everyone coming down that lane, which may be a clutch play if there is someone there. Or because the truck's angled, you can sit in this corner and take on anyone coming around there and anyone on the ledge as well and because the truck's angled you're actually protected from anyone coming outside of the door and a little bit by people coming down this alleyway as you can see i haven't got lines of sight on them but because the wheel is arched the way it is it's sort of curved isn't it a wheel every wheel's curved obviously they'll be able to shoot just under the wheel and your legs may be showing to them but you can't possibly see them because of the wheel arch which is a bit of a shame but it has got to work two ways. Now you're thinking, what if I spawn on the other side? What if I spawn on this side? If you spawn on this side, do not worry. If you're coming around here, literally, do what you do on your team, rush to the truck. So you can take out anyone who's potentially trying to camp this corner to take on the doorway. You can pop your head up and take on anyone trying to rush down that lane and get to your spawn. Or you can literally just use this crate as protection and pop your head up like that. Bam, anyone who's in that corner, in that room, uh, is dead literally like you just run at them bam uh dead uh dead uh dead dead literally like that's four people now the only disadvantage to this spot is that one there where you can be seen if you go too far back like about here which eh, you don't want to be going that far back and you could actually just peek around the wheel and take them out too to be fair now if you do want to rush further forward I would suggest literally cutting this bridge. Don't go around it. Just cutting the bridge. Going down here and staying in this corner. Take out anyone that's over there. You can then flank around here and take out anyone that's there. Or you can literally just go prone and literally just bam. Pop your head up. Take out anyone that's there. It's just so useful to pick off targets. And if need be, chuck a grenade up there to take out anyone that's in the doorway. Fantastic. <laughs> literally for... Oops. Oh, property damage. Property damage. Oh, no. That's going to cost the insurance. But, yeah, guys. If you have enjoyed this advantage spot slash tactical positioning on Aquarium Breach and Combine, be sure to leave a like down below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and like our Facebook page for further updates. We do 
so we, we post loads on Twitter. Like, I do a load of promo. I post loads about my life and, and bacon because everyone needs bacon. And if you haven't already, go check out our channel. And obviously, if you enjoy our content and we're helping you out, whether it be within Call of Duty, Elder Scrolls, Dungeon Defenders 2, whatever game you play, be sure to subscribe and check out what we upload later on in the week. We've got a fair few things coming up. I know we're working on a channel introduction as well. But yeah, until next time, guys, thanks and Boy!